Hi, here we are discuss about a low complexity IQ imbalance calibration method for quadrative modulator. In this project, we are discuss about a low complexity IQ frequency imbalance calibration. This project is mainly designed for errors in spectrum measurements such as frequency extractions and frequency calibrations of gain and phase mismatch. In the figure 1 architecture, it will shown the sample model of quadrative modulation based transmitter architecture. In this figure 1, they are added a new technique buffer, okay, 1 plus G. It will reduce imbalance calibration. Here, the proposed work base paper will also design the same thing. In section 2, they are given briefly the calibration method, how it will be calculated. Okay, here we are modified this proposed work with the same thing in QAM technique of QPSK modulation with also designed a QPSK demodulation. Here also we resolve the same calibration method in digital technique with using digital control oscillator. In this work we are designed in VHDL and simulated in model sum and synthesized in Xilinx software. This is a code for VHDL. This code we are reading the values, the input values from hexadecimal file so that we can possible to check uh, the two files that means input and out also output files. So here we are writing a code for file reading and file writing. This is a top model code. Reading the code from this file reading, we are written into memory. After that, we are reading the values from this top model and once the modulation will be finished, okay, then again it will be written into file writing code. This is a top QPSK modulation and demodulation. This is a QPSK modulation code and this one is a QPSK demodulation code and these two codes we need to check with a BER. So we are written bit error rate code and this fadding code is full and fully for error adding in the modulation signal. This QPSK code we are given a generic format of K mode value. This K mode value will describe the three coherence such as 4, 8, 16. So once you give the fourth quadrant, it will work on 4. Otherwise, it will work on 8 and 16. So this is a modulation. And this is a QPSK demodulation code. And this is a padding code. And this one is a better red code. This is a model sum simulation. So this carrier signal we are generated initially at 1 MHz. Based upon this 1 MHz frequency, we are generate a QPSK modulation based upon the quadrant phase shifting. Here you can analyze this, the quadrant will be phase shifted through the sign and cos based variation. After this QPSK modulation, we are given the signal to fading code and also given to QPSK demodulation. Finally, this work will checked with BER testing.
This work is synthesized in Xinlinx FPGA S6LX9-2 TQG144. This is a area report and this is a delay report. Delay will be taken 5.472 nanoseconds and this is a power report. This power will take a basic power, it's 15 millivolt. And this is a RTL schematic. Proposed abstract, base paper abstract, enhancement of this project, proposed abstract, existing system, disadvantages, proposed system, advantages, literature survey, and references. This one is the comparisons. Thanks, Rajivela Shokraj.